The Making the More of the Coast project has involved creating topic-based cross-curricular learning resource based on the theme of A Message in a Bottle. This is the Message in a Bottle Sea Chest resource box. It's been made from old fish boxes which were washed up along the Solway coast. We've repurposed them to create an interesting container for a range of items to inspire learning about the coast, marine litter, the problem with plastic, what to do with it and campaigning. We have several of these for schools to borrow. You can just let us know by email on projects at solwayfirthpartnership.co.uk or you can use social media or just give us a call. Next we'll look at the different resources in the sea chest. We hope to expand and improve these over time so we will always welcome feedback and ideas about how the boxes can be used. So the first thing to look at is this small booklet that we've put together. This is the starting point for the project and it will provide you with some basic information about plastic bottles, the problems with plastic and the reasons that a message in a bottle is such a great theme to help discover more and learn how to get your own messages across to different audiences. Next are a series of seven activities based on the contents of the sea chest. They start off with exploring the types of items you will find on the beach, what they're made of and how they got there, going on to look at what can be done to help and how to start campaigning. Each of these includes discussion points, success criteria, resources to carry out the activity and finally ways of developing each topic further. We've also provided curriculum for excellence, experience and the outcomes for each of the activities. At the moment, we've left these activities fairly open in terms of age and stage, but we'd like to hear your views on this. All the activities lead on from each other, but the contents of the box um, can be used to develop your own ideas and projects. As well as the activities booklet, we have a range of other information. These are both in the box and online and include information sheets about different types of plastic, what it's used for and if it can be recycled, as well as some of the problem items found on local beaches. To back this up, we have some short video clips about different types of plastic. So I'll just play you a short example of one of these video clips. Most single-use water bottles are made from petroleum-derived polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET. This type of plastic is easily recycled and is often found in products such as fleece jackets, carpets and other water bottles. This company, Deep River Rock, is owned by the company Coca-Cola. The water is sourced and bottled in County Antrim and the product is sold throughout Ireland. The brand has invested in making these bottles 100% recyclable um, and markets itself as supporting a sustainable future. However, even recyclable bottles are found washed up on our beaches. And this is because they are discarded carelessly by users and washed into the sea. The Irish Sea gathers floating plastic and sends it towards the Dumfries and Galloway coastline. More brands are demonstrating their commitment to sustainability by using recycled plastics in their products. Remember, recycling should be the final option after considering refuse, reduce, reuse and refill. We also have a short video about beach cleaning and the importance of collecting data. This is backed up by additional teacher's notes with data on materials collected in Dumfries and Galloway beaches last year. Next, the sea chest contains a range of books. These cover all reading ages and styles 
Um, there's also a very valuable guide to beachcombing and the strand line for teachers and older pupils to use in beach visits. We currently only have three sets of books, so if there's a great demand for the chess at any one time, we may discuss with you in advance the most appropriate books to include in the chest for you. There's a lot of information on marine plastic online and we're aiming to collate all of the information you need for the sea chest activities, including links to other useful resources on the Solway Firth Partnership website. Currently, there is information on marine litter and an interactive map with past and future beach cleans on the website. There, were, there will also be templates and photographs that can be used for the activities. Um, we also have a range of publications on a wide range of topics about the Solway, which are all available online. And I've been leaving the best bit till last. The beach finds that are used for the activities to inspire discussion and learning with questions such as how did they get there? Where did they come from? What are they made of? Why is it a problem? What can we do about it? How can we get others to do something? All these items have been found along the Solway and cleaned up so they're safe for the children to handle in the classroom. Each item will be in a labelled bag. The colour of the label will, will relate to the type of plastic and the activities it can be used for will be clearly marked. This should make it easy for the pupils to discover the objects and answer questions about them. Such as plastic bottles. Who made them? Can it tell us where it came from? What is the best option to dispose of it? 2022 is the year of storytelling. So many items in the chest can act as interesting prompts for developing stories about the past of the items. Um, this can involve art, drama and creative writing. A couple of books in the pack are excellent examples of this. And we would love to hear or see any of the work that your classes develop from the chest. <coughs> I hope this has given you a flavour of what the message in a bottle sea chest is all about. But obviously the best way to find out will be to get hold of one and see for yourself. Thanks has to go to the Rotary Club for providing the money to help us develop these packs. And as I said previously, if you need to get in touch with us or book a chest, this is the email address. <laughs>